let's be real guys there were days in 2023 where I barely made it out of bed and it wasn't really the great year I wanted it to be I don't think I achieved any of my initial goals but that doesn't mean I didn't feel like it was actually a success so hi guys welcome to my first video of 2024 Here's a little drawing process video of me illustrating a few special edition copies of my new book, The Animal Drawing Primer, which you can find in the description below. But what I want to talk to you about is the new year and how it can make us artists feel. And honestly, I'd love to hear your thoughts, so please do drop a comment on how you feel around about this time of year. Are you renewed? Are you feeling a little bit more stressed? Are you neutral on the whole thing? I want to know. Many of us have mixed feelings about the turning of the year, the pressures of us feeling like we have to have achieved something in the previous year, or that pressure to make this new year better than the last. I do think it's useful to reflect, I think it's helpful to acknowledge our failures and our successes, but I don't think it's necessary to feel like we have to have achieved something in order to have had a good year. What I've been doing and what I did with my artist family over at the Inspiration to Creation Collective is spending a bit of time thinking about the things we have achieved and allowing ourselves to be proud of that. Even if it feels super small, you don't need to have made an entire art collection in a year or have earned a hundred grand in your art business to have considered it a good year. Honesty time, I scraped by in 2023 financially and emotionally. I'm not one of those massive art business owners who's about to tell you that I made thousands every month and I'm living the high life. I didn't have a perfect year. In fact, I don't even consider it a great year. But I had a year where I learned so much about myself. And so what if 2023 wasn't as good as we hoped for? So what if we failed? I know I did. A lot. But that doesn't mean we need to feel bad. I still consider 2023 a successful year for other reasons. I wrote a book like this one, which is amazing to me. I lived for the first time overseas. I had my first successful limited edition print run. But the thing I'm truly proud of is I founded a community in the ITCC, which has so many amazing artists in it that I was verging on tears when I was hearing about their accomplishments when we had our end of year celebration. I found my people and I was able to give them space and become a part of an artist family. And those things have given me something that I value way more over having an incredibly successful art business or lots of money and that's a sense of gratitude and well-being. It's what I vow to make 2024 about for myself, is being centered around gratitude, centered around well-being, and prioritizing myself and those people around me who I truly value. I want to give people inspiration and to encourage them to do what exactly that is that they want to do and not feel those pressures of doing things because you know the business says that I must do it this way or trying to chase the income because that's what makes my life worth living and that's just not the case. It's doing things that you love and ultimately people will find that and feed off that and I'm realizing that now as I kind of go f further through my art career is that I need to value myself more and people appreciate it when you look after yourself it's it's amazing so like I said I'm closing my art shop in January so I'm less focused on selling things to people and just making the stuff that I want to do now I hope that 2024 is exactly what you hope it is and if it goes differently than planned then that's okay too I love you guys very much and if you want to support me and my art then hitting the subscribe button is something that would be a massively huge help or just hitting the like button if you're already a subscriber. And if you want to be a part of the family too, the ITCC is waiting for you in the description below. Now I'll leave you to it so you can watch this unicorn come to life on the page of my animal drawing primer and I will send you much love guys and I'll see you again in the next video.